Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Listen, you cannot consider yourself an OSRS YouTuber if you don't make videos like 1 to 99 Guides, Nightmare Zone, Money Making, and the latest addition to the list, useful RuneLite plugins. So today, I will show you Scaper some of my favorite built-in and external plugins, as well as a short explanation of how they work and what they bring to the table. This time, I have a deal for you guys. For every new subscriber and the like this video gets, my puppy Moneda will get a kiss. So, go ahead, we'll give you two seconds. Alright, thank you. You can also join our Discord server to interact with our wonderful community, and in case you have any further questions. The only disclaimer I have for you today is that, just like the previous money-making video, because I'm showing you a ton of plugins, we will not have time to go over every single little intricacy about them. And my aim is to give you general guidance as to how each of one can improve your experience. Like I said before, if you have any questions, don't hesitate on joining our Discord or even leave a comment if you need more help. So boys and girls, grab your spades and pickaxes and let's begin. Actually, I lied. Before we start with plugins, let me quickly tell you a few things about RuneLite. For the 1% of you who play without it, RuneLite is one of the few third-party clients approved by Jagex, in which you can play with a bunch of tools and extra information that makes playing the game much more comfortable. You can download it by going to runelite.net, and if it's any other website that looks like this but isn't .net, it might yoink your account. So make sure to download it directly from Oldschool RuneScape's official website. This also lets you know that it's a fairly safe product and you won't need to worry too much about having your account stolen from it. As soon as you download this client, you will notice a sidebar on the right part of the screen. If you click on the wrench icon, you will be able to see all of the available built-in plugins it has to offer. We are going to go over some of them in a little bit. The bottom part of this list will have a button called Plugin Hub. These are what's known as an external plugin and are developed by the community and every single plugin you see here is approved by Jagex and RuneLight, so they're pretty safe to use. I recommend open all of the plugins before you start playing to see what they all do, and also so you can turn off the ones you don't like. When I first downloaded it, I had to turn off item information automatically because I just didn't like the inventory getting cluttered with information. Once you play around with every plugin and adjust them to your liking, you can click this icon at the top of the client in order to log in with something like a Google account. Once you do, all of your settings will be saved and you won't need to worry about having to reset all the plugins if you switch from PC. Alright, we're gonna start with skilling plugins. And of course, let's begin with the best skill in the game. Guardians of the Rift Helper is absolutely amazing for set activity and it will show you things like portal timers, outline important things in the arena and some other small details that will help you out when playing this minigame. You can also change colors according to your liking. For construction, we have something I've never done before prior to this recording, and it is Mahogany Homes. This activity is fairly budget-friendly way to train the skill, and the plugin for it allows you to see a ton of information regarding your current contract. It will tell you where you need to go, highlight furniture that needs either fixing or replacing, and it is such a great way to see everything on the screen. There's a built-in plugin simply called Agility. This will do one of two things. First, it will highlight all of the obstacles and shortcuts you can use across the game, and it will be a different color if you're not able to use them. The second is that once you have access to it, the Hallowed Sepulchre will also get a fancy new addition for you to be able to see obstacles slightly better, especially those pesky bolts. For thieving we have two, and I'm going to start with one of my most hated activities just to get it out of the way quicker. The Rogue's Den plugin will be incredible whenever you decide to start your grinds towards the Rogue's outfit. It will highlight where you need to go, where to stand, where to run, and so many other things which you wouldn't know if you were not watching a guide or something else. So follow its instructions to victory. The second one is for a training method I have quite frankly only done for League's points. You can download a plugin for the summer section of the Sorcerer's Garden for you to be able to see when you can start running to get to the tree in a single click. You need to have all the ghosts in a green outline, stand on the flower patch near the entrance, and click on the tree when the first ghost is on the red tile and the counter says zero. Just like Agility, Slayer has a plugin simply called, well, Slayer. When you turn it on, which you should leave on for as long as you use Runelite, you will have information related to your task readily available at all times. You can see how many monsters to go, will notify you for a superior spawn, and in case you don't have a Slayer helmet or a gem on you, you can type exclamation mark task to see what you need to slay. Up next we have another two, this time for Hunter. And just like before, the plugin called Hunter will offer you very small additions, but honestly I love these way too much and it makes it so much easier. 
So, whenever you have traps for the many creatures in this game, this plugin will display the amount of time left for each trap, and if it has succeeded or failed. This will help you avoid having your traps disappear if you're not paying attention to them. For something more specific related to Hunter, we have the Herbivore plugin. This is such a simple one, but will speed up your herby hunting so much. When you get to Fossil Island, interact with one of the starting locations and just follow the path for however many times. This is not related to the plugin, but remember that there's a small chance for the herbivore to trick you into running in cir a circle, so watch out for this one. Let's start mining with another activity I'm not too familiar with, and it is the Blast Mine. This will highlight a few areas at the straining spot, as well as putting numbers on the screen for the order in which you need to do all of the actions in a cycle. When you light up your dynamite, it will also highlight the tiles in which are going to be affected by the explosion, so it gives you a good amount of time to run away to avoid damage. The other one is related to shooting stars. There's a plugin called the Shooting Star Tracker that will, well, keep track of all the stars you look from your telescope. I tried installing one simply called Shooting Stars, but it said that my IP would be given to a third party unrelated to Jagex and Runelight, so I just pieced the fuck out of that one. As an extra tip, you can also join Star Miner CC for star callouts if you don't want to do this activity in a group. If you train smithing, there's a high chance you have used the Blast Furnace. And of course, there is a plugin specifically for that. When you turn it on, it will highlight key areas of a place, making it a lot easier to know where to click. It will also let you know when your bars are ready and how much money is in the coffer. This is another plugin that isn't game-changing, but it's just so convenient you will always want it for this place. For fishing, I will give you a 2 for 1. The fishing plugin will simply highlight all available fishing spots, making it easier to see. What we are after though is Temporos plugin. When you install it, it's going to make this minigame so much better because of all the extra information you will be able to see on your screen, like double fishing spot, time left for an incoming wave, whenever the clouds strike, and much more. Now, here's another 2 for 1 for you. Wintertoad has a great plugin that will notify you of several things during your KC. The best part is that it can notify you whenever your actions are interrupted due to damage, as well as your inventory getting full or if you finish your supplies. The other plugin I highly suggest you use here, or even outside, is Entity Hider. With it, you can make all players disappear, as well as their pets, and it's great for crowded places. One plugin I use during my farming grind is called the Time Tracking. With it, you will know when you planted your crops, which ones you planted, and when they will be ready. It works on anything you can imagine, from fruits to herbs to trees, and the best part about it is that you can turn on notifications to let you know when you should go check your stuff. This can be a flash on the screen, or even a desktop notification. Alright, let's jump into external specific plugins, starting with one of the best additions to Runelite in a long time, the Quest Helper. As the name suggests, it will grab you by the hand and guide you through every single step in the quest you are currently doing. It will tell you what to bring, who to talk to, and even help you through puzzles. The best part? It also works for achievement diaries. Just right-click on them and start to follow along. A plugin I recently learned about and I used frequently during my hardcore Ironman adventure, which uh, is still fishing at Lumbridge to collect food for later adventures, yes, 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 is the Wiki Sync. If you install it, it is going to grab crucial information from your account like levels and quests, and when you look something up in the Wiki, it will look up your name and automatically tell you if you meet the requirements for whatever you are looking for. This is not external, but will take us to the next one. Whatever computer you are playing on, give the plugin GPU a try. Whenever you turn it on, your game will run slightly smoother, and you will be able to customize many things for the visuals of your client. You can change draw distance, add fog depth, and even unlock FPS so you can play at higher frames per second. It even has a nifty addition for people with color blindness, and you can also change how some things look. If you want an even better visual upgrade, a plugin called 117 is going to completely change how the game looks, and give you a brand new look at our favorite 2007 version of a 2001 medieval point-and-click fantasy browser game for children. Just like the GPU plugin, there are tons of customizations you can play around, but keep in mind that this is slightly more demanding and may not be available on all computers. The first to boss specific plugin is the Zulra Helper. Now look, I have three Infernal Capes and I still get absolutely confused as to what I need to do with Zulra and where to stand. This plugin makes it so much better, but you need to manually select what Zulra changed to and where it spawned for the plugin to tell you where to go next. It will appear on your sidebar whenever you are near Zulandra, so you don't need to worry about activating it yourself. The next one is called the Gauntlet, and it will completely change the way you run through this place to get to the Hunleth. 
Not only can you highlight resource locations like rocks, trees, and farming spots, but you can also tell it how many resources you need before heading to the final boss. It also has a disgusting amount of color customization for you to keep track of everything and master the gauntlet a lot quicker. We now have another one that is not external either, but I will mention it here because it will naturally lead us to the next one. And honestly, it's one of the best ones on the list. By activating the plugin called the Bank Tags, your bank will now have a sidebar on the left. You can click on the plus sign at the top left corner and make a new category for your items if you want to have something for a specific activity. Drag and drop set items to that tag and set them there. A plugin I fell in love with recently is called Bank Tag Layouts. Once you have dragged and dropped your items here, with this one active you can rearrange the items however you want, which will make it so much better for you to prepare for whatever activity you want to do. I had a whole video going over these two plugins where I give you tips to organize your bank, so go ahead and see it there in a greater detail, you can check it out. Have you ever wondered how much experience you have stored in your bank but you don't want to manually calculate all of your resources? The plugin Banked XP has you covered. Now, I'll be honest, I don't personally use it because I am maxed, but if I was going to make a new account, this would be one of the first ones on the list. It tells you how much experience you have according to herbs, ores, bars, bones, planks, and much more. And now we have a 5 for 1 special, all for Raid 1. Chambers of Zarek will provide crucial information for the raid, especially for the rooms which help loot scouting. Cox Timers helps you with, well, timers for things like Ice Demon, Ulm, and the Muted Isle. Crab Solver will highlight what the crystals need to be hit with. Crab Stun Timers will tell you how long you have until the crabs start moving. And finally, Raid Reloader, which will reload the raid in case you have unknown rooms when scouting. Just keep in mind that this only works when your starting door is at the east. When I was running the Theater of Blood for the Elite Combat Achievements, the only plugin I ran is called the TOB Mistake Tracker. This will make characters in the raid call out their mistakes whenever they take damage from something they were not supposed to. The sidebar on the right will show you who made a mistake, and it is a nice way to improve if you're paying attention to what you did wrong, which shows you where you can improve the most. I was also recommended TOB QOL, which stands for Quality of Life. When you install it, it's going to give you customizations for quite literally every room in the raid. You can do things like hide a bloat ceiling chains, keep track of some crucial timers, some visual changes for Sodaseg, and much more. This plugin isn't necessarily going to help you get mechanically better, but it will be a crucial way to get visual improvements. Just like Raids 1 and 2, there's a plugin for the Tombs of a Mascot with that same name. The most game-changing part of this plugin is the Kefri Puzzle Room, because it just becomes brain-dead with it, as you will be shown literally everything you need to do with visual reminders. It also tells you what monkeys are coming for the Baba Puzzle Room, allow you to take screenshots of your invocation presets, and overall is a must-have whenever you are running Raid 3. Last but not least, we have three more aimed towards content creation. A plugin called Green Screen will hide everything on your screen except for your character. Another one is called Fashionscape, which lets you cosmetically change your character for your eyes only, and the both of these are what I use for a lot of my thumbnails. Finally, the plugin Model Exporter lets you right-click the Equipment tab and export a 3D version of your character in whatever pose they are, as well as NPCs around RuneScape, which you can then import to Blender. Just the left to shift-click them and go for Export Model, and there you go. Starting with a utility plugin simply called Bank, you will get a lot more information when opening it, like showing total bank value, your total bank value at the Seed Vault, and you can also input your bank mint with a keyboard. You can also disable a few options when it comes to banking your inventory, banking your equipment, and even your looting bag if you use one. Loot Tracker will keep track of all of the items you have obtained during a session. And this isn't only for monsters. It can also give you information from pickpockets, implings, glue scrolls, and so many more options that will keep an eye out for every single item you get per sitting. A much chunkier plugin for this is Loot Logger. Instead of being limited to a single gaming session, this plugin will keep track of every single boss you have killed or even clue scrolls you have solved. You can also do nifty things like having a little replay of all your drops for you to enjoy your dry streak. One of the most powerful plugins is called the Menu Entry Swapper. With it, you can shift the left click an item and change both the left and the right click option for items in your inventory as well as in your equipment tab. You can take this a step further and you can open the sidebar and go to the settings to play around with so many options it has to offer, like being able to fill your room crafting pouches in the bank, or even buying or selling a set amount of items in the store. 
If I had a dollar for every time people ask what the outlines are around my items during my streams, I would be richer than Jeff Bezos. With inventory tags, you can shift to left click your items and pick any color for the outline according to the item you choose. I use red for melee, green for range, the blue for magic, and the white for some special attack weapons. World Hopper offers a ton of tools when, well, world hopping. First of all, you will see a sidebar showing you every world and what ping you have in them. You can also have keyboard shortcuts for quick hopping, and you can even choose to avoid free-to-play worlds, PvP worlds, and specific regions. I absolutely love tile indicators because it just teaches so much about movement in old-school RuneScape. You can turn on an option called the True Tile, and it's going to tell you exactly where your character is, since sometimes it takes a little bit to get to its destination. With it, you can do fancy tick perfect movement. If you like hunting implings for whatever reason, the impling plugin will be your best friend. Turn it on to highlight specific implings across the map, and you can even be notified when high tier ones appear. In Puro Puro, it can also show you where some of them spawn, so you can camp them for quick catches. A very simple one is called the Timers. With it, you will see your boosted and decreased stats on screen at all times, and this works for things like potions, spells, and some other things. Another great one is status bars, and you can display information such as HP, prayer, run energy, and special attack in the bars near the inventory, so it's just an extra way to see what you have. This one is even simpler, but I just love it so much. With the default world plugin, you can set a home world for you to have a set one whenever you open Runelight. I don't know if this is a thing anymore, but with the original client, the world would be kinda random. With screen markers, you can mark specific regions of your screen with whatever color you want. You may add squares yourself, or you can even automatically mark things such as tabs, spells, and prayers, and then change the color according to what you want. I love this plugin for the Nightmare of Ashihama, as it's great for practicing its special attack that shuffles your prayers. FPS control will allow you to have more control over your frames per second, and even show you your current FPS on screen so you know when your game is lagging a little bit. You can also limit FPS so you're not focused on the game, and save a little bit on processing power. One of the most recent additions was a plugin called Logout Timer. Remember how you log out of the game after 5 minutes of inactivity? With this plugin, you can go up to 25 minutes without being disconnected. I don't really know why this wasn't implemented before, but I absolutely love it. If you're an unrestricted account, you may use the current library plugin for your Arceus favor, and that's about it. Iron Man may also use it for early runecrafting experience, and this one is great because it will tell you where the books are, and the sidebar will keep track of every single book in the library, also highlighting the ones you are missing. Another thing you may do for a short time is the Mage Training Arena. I absolutely hate this place, but the plugin for it made it a little bit better, although not by a whole ton. There are useful tools in every single room in this unbearable hellhole, so please turn it on whenever you're going for Bones to Peaches. One of the best plugins, especially for PVM, is NPC Indicators. You can shift left click tag NPCs for them to be highlighted as boxes or have their entire hitbox shown. And you can also manually add it in the sidebar if you separate the NPC by a comma. This is great for things like Fight Caves and the Inferno. If you do clue scrolls without the clue scroll solver, you are honestly an absolute degenerate. This plugin is just so good that Jagex copied it to their official client, completely negating the need to do clue scrolls the traditional way. So, keep this one on at all times, because doing clue scrolls is a ton of fun. Related to clue scrolls, but that could also branch out a little bit, we have Puzzle Solver. This is as simple as opening one of those squared puzzles and displaying arrows for you to show you the way to completion. There are other areas in the game that use these, but it also works for them. Ground Markers is great because you can shift right-click any tile on the ground, and paint it with whatever color you want. You can go a step further by doing it again, and you can also label the tiles with any relevant information to what you are doing. You can also import or export tile markers when it comes to bossing or other activities by right-clicking the globe icon near the map. An extremely simple plugin is called the Rune Pouch. The only thing it does is display which runes are in your rune pouch, and if you have three types, it will show you how many are left in there. With the addition of the Divine Rune Pouch, since you can take four of them, you will only see which runes are in there with a color bar representing the amount inside. Which, I don't even know what it means, but it kinda shows you how many you get. Another simple plugin I love is called Cannon. All it does is show you optimal cannon placement in common areas to use it, as well as painting tiles for you to know where monsters need to be standing to be hit by two balls. 
It also gives you the number of balls left and how long you have until the cannon breaks. Then we have the Tide Farm plugin. And if you come here for the outfit, the seat box, or anything it offers, it will be a huge help. It's going to display how long you have until you need to water or harvest your fruit, and it's such a great one to have in mind when training here so your stuff doesn't die. To finish off the list, we have one called a Screenshot. By activating it, you will have an extra button on the top portion of the window that looks like a camera. And then, when you click it, it's going to take a screenshot. It will also automatically capture moments like quest completions, levels, clue scroll loot, and other nifty things like pets that you can save for later. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. And as to this tradition with these, let me ask you what your favorite Rune Light plugin is in the comments below. And if you include the word efficiency, you will be entered in a giveaway to be able to win a bond. I will pick the winner at random during Friday's stream, so make sure to write it by then. Huge thanks for my channel members, you boys and girls are absolutely insane, and honestly I cannot thank you enough for all of your extra support. If you want to become a part of this list of legends, go ahead and click the joined button below for a monetary pledge as well as receiving benefits in the videos, in the live streams, and of course in the Discord. In the next one, we will go over one thousand medium clue caskets, as I was hunting not only for ranger boots, but also for collection log slots. For now though, thank you so much for watching, you have an amazing week, and I will see you then. Ba-ba-ba-ba, a ah, peace.